Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How much capital gains do you pay on a house? When you sell a house, you may need to pay capital gains tax on the profit. The capital gain is the difference between the selling price and your purchase price. The IRS allows certain exclusions for primary residences. If you have lived in the home for at least two of the last five years, you may qualify for an exclusion. For single filers, the exclusion can be up to $250,000. For married couples filing jointly, the exclusion can be up to $500,000. Then end to qualify, the home must be your primary residence. You must not have used the exclusion on another home in the past two years. If you do not qualify for the exclusion, you will pay capital gains tax on the profit. The tax rate depends on your income and how long you owned the property. If you owned the home for more than a year, it is considered a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains tax rates are generally lower than short-term rates. Short-term gains are taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. NN improvements to the home can increase your cost basis, reducing your capital gains. Keep records of all home improvements. Consult a tax professional to understand your specific situation. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.